Verlander goes with off speed right here after a few fastballs that he's fouled off. Into the corner. And a fair ball off the wall. Headley into second. He's trying for third as Maben has trouble with it. And Chase Headley not only was able to keep that fair, he's able to get to third base on that ball. Wow. That looked fouled off the bat. Well, if it looked like people were in slow motion, that might end up being a reviewed uh, home run if it caught that foul pole, but it didn't. If it hits the foul pole above the fence, they have already indicated that they're going to look at this one again. It's going to be a tough one unless they can spot it up. It looks like it hits the foul pole, then down off the fence. Or maybe it might just hit the fence. It just hit the fence. And if that's the case, you looked at everybody kind of going in slow motion, and then Maven comes over late and doesn't uh, pick up the ball because even even Headley wasn't out of the gate thinking that was going to be uh, much. If the call stands and Headley's at third base, it'll be interesting to see if an error is hung on Maven on this play. Yeah, I almost think they have to because Headley had kind of stopped going around second, what I could remember watching it live, even though it looked like it was in slow motion. Well, I don't know, John. It, you, your initial call on that may be correct. It looked upon slowing it down even further as though it might have hit the bottom of the foul pole screen. Yeah, it, and, you and there's see Headley in kind of second gear. Now he picks it up, and then Maben misplays it. Now he really puts it uh, puts it into a different gear and gets into third. That's the part that's going to be tough to tell. Did it hit the foul pole first, and then ricochet down, or did it hit the wall first, hit the foul pole, and then come back into fair territory? This, by the way, is not a review. At the request of Joe Girardi, this is a crew chief review. Took such a big bounce. Upton, Upton had no idea to where that was going, and Maven just didn't come up with it. Kenny, what did it look like down there on the field? Well, it's difficult to tell, Matt, but I'll share this. Yesterday, Chase Headley told me that outfielders are playing him so deep he could not recall the last time he hit a ball over an outfielder's head. That was not a home run. So by that theory, this is a home run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Regardless, it's got to be satisfying for Chase Headley. He started out the season with almost six weeks before his yeah. first extra base hit. He had a just a miserable start to the year. He was talking about just struggling to get the ball in play. It was it was such a mechanical funk that he was in, and then obviously humbled as this game will do to you. And now. Put much better swings about, I would say, middle of May and started getting the results. Speaking of results. Yeah, Paul stands. Headley at third with one gun. And he's telling Mike Winters, what's a guy got to do to get a dinger here? Come on now. Here comes Joe Girardi now. He wants an explanation, of course. 